Hello everyone and welcome back to Chip Hardbody Plays Total War Warhammer 3. Uh, we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. I know I keep switching it up on you guys, but I am, I'm in a little bit of a slump right now and I just want to kind of play something ridiculous. So we're going to be playing a little Throt the Unclean uh, Skaven army. Uh, and we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Normal, normal battle difficulty. We're going to be doing 75 turns, which is an idea... A concept that I blatantly ripped off of Sarah Plays. Uh, if you don't watch Sarah Plays, I recommend it. She's a lot of fun. She does uh, a lot of very cool videos, uh, stuff that I myself, you know, find I find myself wanting to do. Um, and I know a lot of people will say that playing on normal, normal, you're not getting the the full Total War Warhammer experience. That's fine. Uh, the experience that I want is one of just you know casual fun. Um, I don't I don't necessarily want to become like super sweaty at this game. Uh, so I'm playing on normal uh, and you can come at me in the comments, but please don't. <laughs> um, so we're gonna set the end game uh, turn timer range to between 70 and 80, cause we're playing 75 turns. Uh, and where we end is where we end. Uh, I feel like that's a pretty good uh, spot for a campaign to wrap up, uh, at least for me uh, and how I've been playing. Uh, I'm not gonna rush through the turns but I will try to keep things moving along. Uh, I will be, uh, as before, I'll be blocking out the loading screens and the um, like the turn timers. So you won't have to deal with those. That'll keep the videos moving a little bit better. Um, unless I have something really, you know, important or uh, some commentary uh, to offer. But yeah, I just really wanted to back away from Malachi for a second. Uh, don't worry, there will be Malachi videos this week. Uh, I just wanted to play something that was just kind of ludicrous and silly. Um, you guys can offer suggestions and helpful hints, as always, in the comments. I, I welcome that. Uh, I, do I do read every single one. I try to respond to as many as I can, but I get very easily overwhelmed, uh, as you may have noticed in my gameplay. And right now, like I said, I'm kind of going, suffering through a depressive episode. Um, so I'm really pushing myself to try to get some content out and do something just fun for myself and for you guys. Uh, so I know that there are a lot of people who are going to be excited about seeing a Skaven uh, playthrough. So I hope that this lives up to your expectations. I hope you enjoy what uh, I have to to bring to the Skaven universe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. All right. Uh, and Throt, I, I love his voice. Uh, he's just, he's a lot of fun. Uh, so how we play, how they play. Blah. I can talk, I swear. I do this for a hobby. Accumulate growth juice throughout your campaign to clean units and monsters from the growth vat, along with mutagen for the flesh laboratory. Flesh lab is a lot of fun. Very interesting. Uh, also very confusing. So we'll see how that goes. We use that mutagen to augment individual units. We establish unseen undercities beneath cities and keep our faction's food supplies at high levels. We've got to feed those rats. We spread scaven corruption over extended periods whenever we settle with summonable clan rats, make provinces difficult to inhabit, and we can use the underway stance to avoid obstacles on the campaign map. As always, the first mission issued is engage the enemy. But before we do that, let's take a look at Conrich Scuttle. So Conrich... Uh, let's take a look at his skill tree real quick. So he's got, you know, scavenge, stimulate growth, damage building, all that. And then he's got tail weapon, uh, tenacity, thick skinned, hard to hit. Pretty, pretty standard stuff until we get towards the end where we have shock collar, uh, which can be fun. Uh, it's an augmentative ability. And then we have his uh, special tree, which is carrot and stick, master molder, uh, and then hero catcher and flesh snatcher, uh, which lock each other out um so we'll have to make that decision at rank 12 but for now uh we'll be just fine uh so let's go ahead and embed him in our main army and take a look at our army composition we have throt the unclean of course uh he's a support specialist we have conrich scuttle who's a pack master we have our skaven slave spears spear infantry with poor leadership uh these are our meat shields uh, expendable is one of their traits, so that's always good to see. Uh, we have shielded clan rats. Um, then we have our night runners with slings. Uh, mutant rat ogre. 
Uh, we have two packs of wolf rats, one of which is currently unstable. Uh, so after this battle, we'll probably break them down for mutagen. Uh, and then we have our rat ogres. Now, I could go ahead and recruit some and then just, you know, engage on next turn. But I think I think we're good to go ahead and fight this battle. So we're going to quick save as we always do. Uh, auto resolve would give us a close victory with uh, medium casualties. But as always, we're going to fight the first battle and see how we do. Alrighty, so let's take a look here real quick. Uh, so we'll put uh, these two kind of in the back, uh, just get them out of the way right now. Our Skaven Slave Spears, uh, we'll put kind of at the, at the front in this. Actually, we'll put them over here uh, so that they can just kind of run forward, honestly. Um, mutant Rat Ogres, we'll put, well, Mutant Rat Ogre, not plural. We only have one. Uh, clan rats with their shields we'll put right here and our rat ogres we will put I think I'm going to put them kind of behind our uh, our night runners uh, the night runners do have vanguard deployment so but I don't they also have ranged units over here quite a few of them actually so I don't think I want my clan rats to engage uh, with them before the rest of the army has a chance to catch up. So I think I want to keep them, might keep them a little bit ahead of the rest of the army, but not by a lot. Maybe like that. Uh, actually, we'll bring them over here so then they can, mm, there. Yeah, so they can just have clear line of sight these guys, same deal. I want them to have clear line of sight, uh, and they can start firing on this left flank here. Uh, our night runners, or yeah, I, I was moving the wolf rats around. Uh, wolf rats, I want to be able to flank with them, uh, which actually, if I bring them here, are they hidden? Yes, they are. Uh, excellent. So these uh, night runners will be here. Why do I keep selecting the wrong thing? Wow, I need to slow down. wolf rats I want up here I want them hidden so that they can immediately turn around hopefully and uh, flank anybody we want to take Elena Zakharova out uh, as quickly as possible so uh, it is I know one of these okay it's the the wolf rats have this uh, warp lightning rod uh, which Definitely hurts us as well, uh, but especially for this unit, uh, which is already unstable, I kind of want... Uh, okay, this is the only unit that has this, so they're going to kind of be our our suicide bombers in a way. Um, I kind of want them to run in. If these guys are getting blobbed up, I want them to run in and detonate that warp lightning uh, and try to get it off as many times as I can. So... Uh, these two we can bring back up here now. Um, we'll put Throt over here and put Conrich over here. Okay, let's get this battle started. We can go ahead and have these guys start. Uh, mm, they don't want to move. That's fine. Uh, I wonder if I push these uh, wolf rats in, if I could get them close enough to start doing some decent damage uh, before they get annihilated. Let's find out. I'm just going to have them rush in. Okay, they're taking a little bit of fire. No, okay, they completely whipped that. That's awesome. Yes, this is what I wanted. It's exactly what I wanted. Boom. All right, and they're immediately routed, but that's okay. We got a, well, not even a very good... Uh, shot off that's it's a little disappointing uh these guys let's bring them back here uh so that these can start firing on the uh the dervishers same here keep these guys running and running and now uh we'll have throt 
summon his rat ogres here. Now we can start engaging uh, these guys. All right, cool. These wolf rats are rallied. Very cool. Our mutant rat ogres. Um, I mean, they don't really need to do anything right now. These guys are getting getting slammed. Very good. All right, these guys are rallying. Excellent. Uh, we'll just have them come back up. All right, these rat ogres are here. They deteriorate over time, so let's go ahead and get them moving towards Elena. Uh, actually, let's bring them around the trees. And then these, these guys can take on that snow leopard. Um, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the mutant rat ogre can go help take out the snow leopard. My lord is under attack from... I'm not sure what I'm under attack from. But, okay. Uh, and we'll take Conrich and move him forward. Uh, move these guys forward. Have the clan rats start going forward. The Skaven Slave Spears. I'm going to have them charge this way. All right. We got to take our... Uh, take Brat up there, take the Night Runners, and start harassing those guys. And then these Rat Ogres are getting pelted over here, so they can start taking on. Uh, Alright, these guys, uh, they can, they've just been broken, never mind. Uh, our Mutant Rat Ogre, where are our Wolf Rats with the, oh, did they already get destroyed? No, nope, there they are. Alright, so they can maybe move over here. If these guys are engaged. All right. Let's bring them forward. Throt is... He is in melee. Uh, he is currently losing. So let's try to get him a little bit of help with these wolf rats. All right. These guys are rallied again. And they lose... They lose, they lose a heart, and then they rally very quickly. Uh, so that's nice, at least. All right, Conrich, you can come up and start taking on these guys. Actually, no, Conrich, let's have you go after Elena. All right, do we have anybody not doing anything currently? Uh, all right, these guys. Warp Lightning. Okay, okay. That was pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. I like that. All right. Ready, ready. So let's take them towards uh, Elena and take them towards Elena. Throt uh, cannot do any special ability. These guys, uh, I can, can't do my warp lightning again yet. Oh, these are rallied. And my mutants are going after Elena. Actually, we'll have them go after these. These are going after Elena. Uh, Throt is currently okay. They're shattered. So if I if I could get enough people like piled in on Elena, we might be able to actually fully kill her. But I doubt it. She's probably going to uh, get wounded, at least. It would be very cool if we could uh, completely kill her, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end the battle. It's a Pyrrhic victory, so we went from close to Pyrrhic. Um, I'm, I, I'm not very good. At, not very good, <laughs> but it, it's fine. I didn't lose any full units, I don't think, so it's fine. Those rat ogres did work in this battle. 109 kills. Very nice. That was a little bit of a tough one because every almost everything they had was ranged, so we took a lot of losses just running up to them. Uh, but we'll be, we'll get some more range soon as well. Uh, so we're going to we're going to eat uh, eat the captives. Um. Okay, so we got that done. Throt gained a rank. Uh, all right. 
Uh, so Thrott. Let's go ahead and bump him up. Uh, the first thing I always do is Route Marcher. Always. Uh, let's see, did, and Conrich did not gain any levels. That's a little bit of a bummer, but understandable. Uh, Fort Straghoff. I do wonder, can we take that? Let's see. So we can take it. It says close victory with uh, auto resolve. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll auto resolve that one. Uh, we will. Can we increase the settlement level? What will that do? Oh, it just subtracts food. Interesting. Okay, that's a mechanic I'm not entirely uh, familiar with. I'm going to go ahead and occupy this. Uh, we got a new uh, follower gained, a Man-Thing Slave. That's nice. Uh, enemy settlement looted, occupied. Uh, and we got a rank for Conrich and Throt. Very cool. All right, that's what I wanted. So uh, now we start figuring out... Um, so this is co corruption minus one when in own province. This is corruption plus one local enemy province. Interesting. Um, okay. Uh, we're going to start out with Tail Weapon. Uh, I like that for Throt. And then for Conrich, uh, we're going to give him Tail Weapon as well. And then on these details, we got our Ancillaries, the Man Thing Slave. Uh, one uh, Income from all buildings plus 10%, leadership plus 4 when fighting against humans. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, and now we can upgrade uh, Hell Pit. Gives us a much better garrison. And we want more income. Uh, so this gives us new technology, uh, income, scaven corruption, and minus his recruitment cost. Okay, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, but then this, this only goes up to level 3, so we can we can put that somewhere else. Oh, this also only goes to level 3. So we can put those really anywhere. Uh, so if we wait, we could get Taskmaster's platform, but I don't think I want to wait necessarily. Um, or we could, oh, we could get the exotic animal tower, which also goes up to 3. Okay. I think my best bet is to do the rubbish pit for now. <sighs> I can always dismantle it later if I really want to. All right, Troll Country. Uh, in this one, I think we'll put the uh, the Clan Pit um, so that we have uh, those units recruitable. Uh, and now we can issue a commandment. So we could do... Hmm... I like the idea of the growth and the minus construction cost. So let's do that. And then uh, we can recruit some more units. So uh, I want to get a couple more ranged units here, but I also want another thing of Skaven Slaves. And then for global recruitment, let's get one of the Clan Rats. Spe Actually, no, that'll take two turns. Uh, so I think this will be good. And for diplomacy, I don't imagine we'll be doing a lot of diplomacy uh, as Throt. But you never know. You never know. Somebody might decide they want to uh, to, <laughs> to trade with the Skaven. Um, <laughs> uh, but I don't think so. Uh, all right. End turn. It's a decent turn one. Okay. Now... Creature killer, embed a warlock engineer hero into Throt the Unclean's army. Okay, we can do that. Uh, the Ungol kindred have been destroyed. Wintertooth has confederated Ailing, or Eiling, Aisling, Rieslings. Uh, the dominating scheme is a right that we have unlocked. Neat. Okay. So, let's research technology. Devious plans. Upkeep minus 13% for Skaven slave units. Nice. And minus 5% recruitment cost. I like that. And so this right uh, gives us three food generated per turn, growth plus 40, control plus two, and recruitment cost minus 25%. Dang, at the cost of 3,000 gold, how much do we have? We have 9,370. I think we have plenty to do that. Uh, so let's do that. 
and it lasts for 15 or no it lasts for five turns 15 turn cooldown uh let's go ahead and do that uh i like that a lot all right cool so with senor throt uh we've taken fort strogov uh so we need to take fort ostrosk next so let's focus on that after we recruit a couple more units let's go ahead and get a couple more units in here i don't want to uh necessarily uh jump right in with only 14 units in my army and uh most of them be having a uh, depletion and we're still at corruption three so i think we're still okay um with this wolf rats <sighs> mm, i might i can't recruit more wolf rats right now so i might just hold on to them for now I wish that I could recruit another mutant rat ogre uh, or, or a rat ogre, uh, but I can't yet. So let's go ahead and get uh, some Skaven Slave Spears uh, and um, another Skaven Slave, just regular Skaven Slave, and then one more Clan Rat just to kind of round out our army. And then... Yeah, we'll be going after Nikolai of the Oblast. Uh, and I think that that is all I can do for now. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Just double checking. Um, let's let's see our objectives real quick, by the way. Just, just to see what victory conditions are. We can destroy the Great Orthodoxy and the Ice Court. Uh, and that would give us our short victory. I don't know if we can do that in 75 turns, but we're going to give it the old college try. Just check diplomacy real quick, just to see. Oh, uh, Nurgle wants to uh, wants to trade or wants a, a um, non-aggression pact, but that <laughs> that uh, faction is getting ready to be destroyed, so it's not really worth it, in my opinion. We already have 1798 income. No need to do that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and end this turn. All right, we got our DBS plans uh, research done. We uh, Conrich gained a rank, so let's go ahead and get him uh, taken care of here. And we are going to give him uh, hard to hit. And Rod is still fine. New technology, fight dirty. Weapon strength plus 10% for night runners and gutter runners. Missile strength plus 10% for night runners and gutter runners. Very nice. Let's do that. Okay. Now with 17 units, I think that it's a little bit better to uh, to go after Nikolai. Let's find out. Close defeat. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna start a siege. Oh no no no! Dang it! I wanted to construct uh, some siege units. Okay. Now we will continue siege. I know it's kind of boring. Uh, I apologize, uh, but. Sometimes you got a siege. Uh, sometimes that's just what you have to do. So uh, another another turn down. Uh, not a lot done, unfortunately. Okay. So we are suffering some attrition. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to nullify that soon. Uh, we can build up our clan barracks. So we'll do that. We can build up the scavenge pile. We'll do that. And now we can construct the lower levels of Hell Pit, uh, which gives us a lot of a lot of stuff. Uh, so excited about that! Um, let's see here. We can now unlock uh, hero recruitment, assassin, or uh, we can get more income and uh, ooh, warp fire throwers and warp grinders. Let's get those. Nice. Uh, now let's see. All right, so our our uh, income is pretty low now, but let's see how we're doing here. We're still at a close defeat, so still got to continue this siege, unfortunately. Uh, once again, a turn where nothing really happens. That's just kind of how these some of these turns are going to go. But thankfully, we'll skip over most of them. All right, if we can't win the battle uh, this go round. Uh, yeah, we're still at close defeat. I think I'm going to break the siege and retreat so that I can heal up. Um, yeah. 
Uh, I'm going to I'm going to go back to Fort Straga. Uh, we're going to recruit some more units. Um, that was kind of a waste of a couple turns. Um, I'm a little bummed about that. But again, well, actually, I'm going to wait a wait another turn because I believe on next turn I'll be able to recruit another hero and uh, the warp grinders and warp fire throwers. And with those, we should be able to take on uh, Nikolai. Uh, so hopefully that will be the case. So one more turn of nothing. <laughs> this is an exciting video. I'm sorry. That is the one downside to uh, not being very good at the battles is uh, a close defeat. I don't think I could turn into a even a Pyrrhic victory. Uh, I would probably turn it into a decisive defeat, knowing my luck and the way I play. So that'd be a little bit of a bummer. So I don't want to do that. All right. Let's see. Now, yes. Yes. Now we can get our warp fire throwers. And uh, what else? Yeah, the warp grinders. The warp grinders are armor piercing, can attack walls, vanguard deployment. Uh, I'm going to get... Actually, I'm not going to get two of those. I'm only going to take one of those. The warp fire throwers are warp fire armored and anti-infantry and a damage dealer. So we're going to get more of those. Um, so, unfortunately, you know what that means. Another couple of turns where we're not doing much. Uh, so we might just skip over two turns, uh, depending on what else uh, happens. So... Uh, yeah, I'm done. I'm done apologizing for it. Let, actually, let's check out the, the flesh lab. Let's see what we can do here, if anything. Uh, so we got infantry monster augments, um, and then our straight up laboratory where we can ooh, harvest organs, unclean energy bar. Um, okay. So what can, what can we do right now? Uh, we can put an attribute of stalk and vanguard deployment. So stalk uh, can move hidden in any terrain. That's pretty cool. Vanguard deployment can deploy outside the deployment zone. We know about that. Uh, spell resistance, 15% armor, 20% for cancerous carapace. More testosterone, more testosterone. Uh, passive ability frenzy, um, which means that they will gain a lot of uh, damage buffs. And they're immune to psychology. But what? what are the negatives? in that uh i wonder uh but this is all just for the uh scaven slave spears uh for the clan rats uh looks like okay we have the same options for all of the units uh, i'm learning can't do anything with the mutant rat ogres that makes sense they're already mutated and our augmented uh wolf rats are also already mutated uh so i think maybe maybe we'll put uh something on these clan rats here uh let's give them better armor i think that would be pretty cool uh so this is going to cost us uh 25 mutagen and we currently have 100 mutagen so i could put this on clan rats i don't want to put this it, it seems wasted on the skaven slaves um maybe maybe putting uh the van well they already have vanguard deployment on the night runners so I'm not really worried about those. Um, or do they have... I thought they already had Vanguard deployment. Maybe they don't. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put it on the uh, the Clan Rats. I just want to see how it works, honestly. Uh, so uh, we'll put it on them for now. And that will be that. So, end turn. Uh, well, let's check diplomacy. Let's just see. All right. uh, oh, they're doing better now. Um, so maybe maybe we do want that non-aggression pack. Uh, let's let's initiate that diplomacy and see. They give us one gold. <laughs> you know what though? We'll take it for now. Um, yeah, we're we're reliable. <laughs> we're we're Skaven that are reliable. We will reliably stab you in the back and eat you, or perform hideous experiments upon you. That's what we'll do. That's what we're reliable for. Okay. Uh, Godly Wrath. Hell Pit. Gods of your enemies have directly intervened in our interests, sowing destruction across the realm. How do we confront a God's Wrath? Unhappy populace control minus four. That's a bummer, but what can you, uh, nothing I can do about it. 
Uh, that's just a thing that happened. All right, we can upgrade this for 1,000. Uh, so we'll do that. And now we can do some more building over here. Um, let's see here. We're not going to put the Taskmaster's platform over here. Uh, let's go ahead and put the Rattling Warrens uh, in here. I don't think I already have one of those anywhere. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Cool. Um, and then we're still mustering. We've uh, we got three more uh, coming in. That'll put us at a full 20 stack, which I'm very excited about. Just check our diplomacy. Nope, nothing. Um, and so, well, what, what rank are we now? Uh, 157 <laughs> out of like 200 and some. That's, that's a bummer. But not surprising. Not surprising at all. Uh, because we only have one army. Should we go ahead and raise a second army? You think, think it's worth it? Maybe we should. Maybe we should go ahead and recruit another lord. Uh, see, we could do Garer. Um, Warpstone Hoarder. Okay. Uh, this will give us Discipline, which is better uh, melee and leadership. Yeah, so let's do Cypress Ringwretch. Actually, what was the... Um, we needed a Warlock Master embedded. Or a hero. Yeah, we needed the Warlock Engineer. That's what it was. Uh, we need a Construction Cavern to get that. Okay. That's fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and get... Uh, this guy and let's get him some units uh clan rat spears clan rats skaven slave spears skaven slaves and skaven slave slingers uh so he'll be he'll be mustering for a little bit um which is fine um and yeah i think that's that's all i got for this turn uh and i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here uh let's go let's end the turn oh i know uh, Costelton um, has declared war on us. That's fine. We're scaven. Everybody's going to start declaring war on us. He's much stronger than we are right now, but that will change. Um, but yeah, this is going to the end of this turn or the end of this video. Um, 75 turns. That's all we got. Uh, and I know we, we had to waste a couple of them uh, on that failed siege, but I think we're still doing okay for, for a, a first start out. Uh, we'll see how it goes from here. Maybe we'll t uh, take the Tower of Throck. Uh, ooh, we got Growth Vat Batch available. Okay. The more it is left to grow, the better quality of the unit's grown. More advanced batches will only result in negligible increases of mutagen byproduct. That sounds pretty cool. I don't know really how to use that. Oh, oh, right there it is. Oh. I didn't realize that we emptied it, uh, but it gave us Skaven Slave Spears, Wolf Rats, and Wolf Rats Poison. Uh, okay, this is an optimum batch. Uh, immediate recruitment from the Growth Bat Recruitment Panel. All right, well, I was going to end the video, but let's let's um. Uh, so this is from Cypress. So Growth Bat Recruit uh, there. Okay. So it costs zero to recruit them. So let's do that. All right, so we get these guys. Nice. So it'll take. still take... Uh... All right, it was immediate. That's what it said. I, I can read. <laughs> I promise I can read. I swear. Uh, creature, why do I keep clicking on this? I don't... Uh, I can't do that yet, can I? Wait. Uh, did I just build the, um... No. Um, the Warlock Engineer. Yeah, still have to build the Construction Cavern. I was like, I didn't think I built that yet. Uh, okay. So we're going to go ahead and end it now. <laughs> I promise. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you for just, uh, letting me feel comfortable. Uh, just making a, a video for funsies uh, and a video series for funsies. Thank you so much for all the assistance uh, in everything, honestly. Um, I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much to our chiplets. Uh, I really, really appreciate you guys. And um, 
Uh, I hope that y'all have a really, really nice day. Uh, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.